this is fresh, fresh hot. I haven't even opened the box yet. Let's open it freshly today. Uh, as you know, I got a bare face now. I try to use as many product as I can, uh, but do bear with me that I can't really do comparison to the previous collections is because all of them has been shipped to UK. I already shipped loads of my makeups and uh, you know, I share with you guys when they all arrived, but I can't believe that how many new products I'm actually going to carry with me. <laughs> or because of you. The box design itself in remained the same. This time it is their Swamp Ballet collection. Uh, I have to say, just based on the print, of the box this time is better quality printing better quality than the last one I received at least for my box I didn't I I'm not sure whether my one was the photo or something like that the print just looks like it's going to run out of ink any soon but this one I have to say is very smooth print attention to details this is what I expect from flower nose to be honest my battery ran out, so while I was waiting for it to be charged up, just down the base, I know there is no foundation in this box. First of all, let me go for the mirror. Oh, by the way, this time I didn't choose the perfume one, as I have so many perfume, and I already got five bottles to carry with me. I really can't afford another bottle. <laughs> What a beautiful swan! <gasps> I have to say, every time their mirror, like this one, is from Flower Nose as well. Their mirror become one of their iconic items, which is not actually makeup. <gasps> every time I'm just very excited for their mirror to be launched, to be honest. They gave two finger puffs. The finger puff is actually very useful when you need to set your under eye area, especially the finger puff comes handy. And you got a hair clip. I'm going to give this one to my daughter. As I done my foundation, so let me find the powder first. Oh, hang on. There is one more like accessory items, which is the hairbrush. Oh. It's very cute, although it is a bit plasticky, I have to say, but it's not as plasticky as like a doll or kids use. It is, it is better quality than that, but it's still a little bit plasticky. But I don't mind as, you know, it's bonus, it gives for free anyway. Okay, here's the powder. The pressed powder, I used like three of them. Not a big fan, I have to say, not a big fan. The powder, when you touch it, it seems very fine, but it's not fine enough when you apply it on the face. So let's hope this one is improved. Uh, I'm just going to tone down the brightness so you guys can see the color carving better. It's such a beautiful design. It has a pair of ballet shoes on top and I really like the color they designed this time. It's like a baby pink with baby blue green. It just made it very dreamlike. Very cute. Royal family type of thing. I just see the I just see the color is actually pink. Uh, what's the full name? Music Box Loose Setting Powder 01. The puff is a soft. Can you guys see the smoke? It's very pink. Oh, this time I have to say, the powder has been improved. You straight away feel the difference when you apply it on the skin. It's much more silky. It's more like baked powder, that feel. It's this part. You only see it vaguely. You know, with any powder, don't just dip it in and apply. Always make sure you... 
especially the first time you're using it, make sure you smudge it well, spread it evenly. As this has a bit of color, so I'm going to use it more in the area where I want it to be like brighten up. Oh, when you apply, oh, first of all, it has very mild, pleasant, hinted flora smell. Very nice, pleasant. But, and can you guys see the color actually? Especially on the side of my nose, you can actually see the color. You certainly, uh, uh, oh, okay, now let me see this angle from my monitor. I can actually see the color here. Hope you guys also can see. So I wouldn't recommend this to set for the entire face, but on the plus side, this time the powder is definitely definitely better than all the powders that I used before <laughs> from Flower Nose. Yeah, I would suggest only set this for the central of your face. It just has color. The blurring effect is really good. It's like filter it through. Today the natural daylight is very weird. I look so yellowy, like very yellowy from the camera. But I haven't changed my setting. Hope you guys don't mind. Uh, this is the blush brush. Oh, very cute. And oh, a little bit of pokey, like soft pokey, but you still can feel the, oh, Mm, it's not as soft or now I can feel it's not as soft as the previous one and that's open the one you you guys definitely after is the eyeshadow palette is number one it's called white swan the packaging is very very nice of course the inside this time they change the way they put the <laughs> eyeshadows, let's put it that way, is more made like a full face use palette. Uh, you have uh, eye looks in the middle, the more for the face, I guess, but those two are the highlighters. Here's the swatches. I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the powder quality. It is slightly wetter than their previous collections. When you touch it, it's more like mud type of feel. Now I only dipped once and it has fairly good pigment and the color saturation itself. And those colors, especially those two, you see, is very smooth. Which eyeshadow palette would you go for? If you only have to choose one, could you please leave your message down below and let me know if you only have to choose one of it, which one would you go for? And here's the blush. It's all well within the theme itself. This time the packaging I have to say from the eyeshadow palette, the mirror, the setting powder, uh, they are more, how to say, um, steady quality compared to at least was my experience compared to their last collection the last collection i felt a little bit iffy about the eyeshadow palettes packaging i was much prefer their blush packaging but this time the eyeshadow palettes the packaging the quality the standard remained throughout the collection which is very good to see and this blush color is 05 it's still kind of like a typical one I got. I'll give you guys to see the carving first. To give you guys to see the marks inside first. Uh, this is a very energetic, healthy pink. Over here. I don't actually have this color. Or similar one this is the lipstick now you can see it's a very cute barbie pink and a very very 
nice, cute, like a um, ballet dress, carving. Very cute. Uh, inside is fairly standard. And my color is B01, little star. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my lord, this is melting already. <laughs> look at that, look at this tip. It's too, too soft. Too soft, I mean. Oh, I'm very intrigued to try. Can you see this? It's more like lip gloss finishing. This type of formula, it become like a trend in Asia. A lot of brand doing this type of formula. Wow! Oh my god! It's like a bubble gum. So delicious! So delicious! You literally want to eat it. Last but not least, this is the liquid glitter. And this color, I quite like it. Uh, 05 from these swatches. I really like this one. It has very sheer pink base color and with beautiful, oh, different sparkles. I just show you guys on the different lighting. Oh, can you see the different tones, colors of sparkles on that? It's very, very cute. And let me focus on here. Now you can see the pinkness. Yeah. I just go for a fairly standard eye look, but more about testing the quality and the actual blendability performance on the eyelid. So I will fast forward the process. You still can see how I done it. And that's uh, talk about it right after. I'm going to mix these two colors for the eyebrow. Going to mix those two colors. Okay, I think this palette, my experience of using it, the biggest difference is actually the color pigment of using on the eyelid because this one, 01, is one of the lighter ones from this collection. While I actually even see the swatches and see the eye look from the website, I thought this going to be like lower color saturation, won't really see the color perform on the eyes it's more like clean makeup type of colors but it actually not it, it you can actually build a much stronger eye look obviously today i went slightly different more focus for the bottom eyes rather than the top lid but the overall performance I think is really good. The liquid one, it looks really nice as soon as you apply it when it's still wet, but it does dry down quite a lot. Unless there are spot lighting, when you look very closely, you may feel that it looks a little bit dry bling rather than wet bling, if you know what I mean. But overall, this color is really nice. This, this, this is 05. Okay, let's move on to the blush. 
as the color is a fairly like light in a way i'm going to use the brush which come with what i like about it is quite a pointed so you can be fairly precise i'm going to more dot it in the middle as this color is more for you know is more have a little bit of plumpy effect therefore if you apply it sideways visually to make your face looks bigger so apply this kind of color in the middle it's very light it's very friendly for beginners oh this blush can really work for if you want to create a fairly cute makeup it looks like it looks very healthy skin from within flower nose blush never lets me down okay last one is the lip gloss oh. when you smell it you just want to eat it it's literally like a lollipop smell bubblegum lollipop ice cream What I like about this is the reflection and it's very, very comfortable after applying on the lip. You don't feel heavy, like clean film wrapped to your lip. You feel your lip is still very breathable and it's not sticky at all. At the same time, it's, you feel it's very hydrating. But although the color is very nice and it's completely my cup of tea, the coverage is not in full therefore if you look at the edges you'd better not overdraw it alternatively you will have to work with lip liner it won't cover your entire lip color considering my lip color is fairly light especially on the bottom lip you can tell there is like a small ring of this edge is pinkier compared to anywhere else right so just bear that in mind quickly to summarize my thoughts on this new collection uh, first of all the packaging wise although I think for a lot of us who owned quite a lot of flower nose product in the past you may not be like overwhelmed by its packaging it's still within its brand trend as more cute more dreamlike more wonderland like more princess like it still fall into that trend but i really need to recognize the packaging quality consistency this time is way much better than their last collection i have to say my recommendations would be if when you see this video you haven't bought any flower nose items before i think this brand is a very very nice iconic chinese makeup brand for you to explore for you to experience what made in china can actually deliver visual wise as well as the experience of using its makeup as the price line is very very friendly as well however if you've been following my channel for a while and you know this brand quite well you use the past the collections do you have to get this collection not necessarily all the items that put that way and uh, depends on what you actually own in your hand my recommendations this time is actually their powder I really felt the powder has improved a lot based on my past experience of course I never used their loosing powders I don't think they had before I think it's more all the pressed ones the pressed ones I just feel very very average but this loosing powder is really good i think there are two types in in my set is the pink one i think there is one more for lavender blue based that one is more for brightening purpose this one is more for like uh, bring a little bit of freshness and energy out plus slightly brightness effect in a way this has much more in comparison color pigment showing on the face so it depends on your skin tone you need to bear that in mind 
Eyeshadow palettes from Flower Nose in each collection has always been a top discussing point from color combinations apart from the black one. The rest I still find individual color. You could find similarities from past collections, depends which one you own. But this one, 01, seems the fairly common one. The biggest difference is the color performance on the eyelid is stronger. When I go back to UK, I will do, I think probably like per category. So I will do flower nose, eyeshadow palettes, kind of a comparison in terms of uh, color similarities or powder qualities per se. In the meantime, if you also looking for reviews for their past collections, do open my description box. I will link all my uh, flower nose videos down below. And also remember, I do have a discount code with flower nose. I know it doesn't save that much, but a little help. Hope you also enjoying today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on my next video.